For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The day started strong for stocks, lifted by favorable economic data. The producer price index, a key measure of inflation at the wholesale level, aligned with market expectations by showing a rise, while initial jobless claims dropped to their lowest point since May, suggesting a resilient labor market. However, the early momentum did not last. As the trading day unfolded, all three major indexes drifted lower a sign that investors may be capitalizing on the market's recent post-election rally by taking profits and recalibrating for future moves. As stock momentum softened, the commodities market told its own story. Oil prices inched higher, defying reports that global crude production is likely to surpass demand in the coming year. Analysts remain cautious about oil's trajectory, noting that any imbalance in supply and demand could impact pricing stability. Meanwhile, the strong United States dollar continued to impact gold, driving it to a two-month low. Gold's decline reflects broader market optimism about the dollar's strength ahead of a projected second term for President Trump, further reinforcing a bullish sentiment for the dollar, but dimming the appeal of safe haven assets like gold. While gold and oil had mixed fortunes, Disney provided a clear highlight, with its stock surging by over 6% following an impressive fourth quarter earnings report. The entertainment giant exceeded expectations by delivering stellar adjusted earnings per share of $1.14 cents, surpassing the $1.10 analysts had anticipated. Disney also reported a 6% year-over-year revenue increase, bringing in $22,570,000,000, which outperformed the forecast of $22,450,000,000. This solid performance signals Disney's resilience, particularly in its broad entertainment division, where revenue jumped 14% year-over-year to reach $10,380,000,000, driven by strong demand across streaming platforms platforms and films. Despite the positive overall numbers, Disney faces some ongoing challenges. In the Entertainment Network's division, which includes both the Disney Channel and ABC, operating profit declined significantly, falling 38% year over year to $498 million. This drop in profits underscores the difficulties traditional media channels face as audiences increasingly shift to streaming services. Disney's Experiences segment, encompassing its renowned theme parks, also reported a 6% year-over-year -year decline in operating income, totaling $1,660,000,000. Although Disney has seen substantial growth in its entertainment division, these setbacks highlight the need for the company to adapt its strategies across other business areas to maintain overall momentum. Nevertheless, Disney found success in the movie industry this past summer, with blockbuster releases boosting its profile. Major releases like Inside Out 2 became the highest grossing animated film in history, while Deadpool and Wolverine set new records as the most profitable R-rated movie to date. This exceptional range of cinematic achievements bolstered Disney's earnings and reinforced its influence in the entertainment world where few competitors can rival its reach. Further expanding its streaming strategy, Disney made a strategic decision to split its Disney Plus service into an ad-supported tier and a premium tier, similar to Netflix's approach. This adjustment, introduced earlier this year, was well-received and contributed to Disney Plus, gaining an impressive 4,400,000 new subscribers. Chief Executive Officer Bob Iger expressed pride in these gains during the earnings call, but an off-mic comment hinted at his hesitation over disclosing too much information about the service's success. While investors remain largely optimistic about Disney's stock, the company still faces pressures including an ongoing decline in cable television revenue and operational challenges at its theme parks. As Iger's second tenure as CEO is set to conclude in 2026, Disney will soon need to select a new leader who can navigate these complexities and drive the company towards sustainable growth. The question remains whether Disney's ambitious three-year earnings projection is a sign of forward-thinking leadership or a potentially risky outlook. In related market news, Tapestry and Capri, both significant players in the luxury fashion industry, announced they will no longer pursue a merger. Tapestry, the parent company of well-known brands like Coach and Kate Spade, saw its stock surge over 12% following the news, while Capri, which owns Versace and Jimmy Choo, posted a gain of more than 4%. Burberry, another luxury brand, saw its shares soar by over 18% after its chief executive officer unveiled a strategic turnaround plan aimed at reversing recent declines, highlighting the unique pressures and opportunities in the high-end fashion sector.
Shifting focus to technology, semiconductor company ASML offered reassurance to investors after a challenging period. After tumbling on a profit warning last month, ASML regained nearly 3% today by confirming that it remains on course to meet its ambitious revenue target for 2030. In contrast, supermicrocomputer faced further struggles, dropping another 11% as it approaches the November 16th deadline to submit its fiscal year earnings report or risk delisting from the NASDAQ. In a surprising turn for cashback rewards platform Ibotta, shares fell by over 12%, despite the company exceeding both revenue and profit expectations last quarter. Although Ibotta's recent financial results were positive, market sentiment appeared less enthusiastic, indicating investor concerns about the company's long-term growth potential. In contrast, the Federal Reserve's recent rate cuts have generated renewed interest in central bank policy. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, in his first public remarks since the latest 20 25 basis point rate reduction conveyed a sense of confidence that left investors parsing his words closely as they anticipate the Federal Reserve's next meeting on December 18th. However, if inflation eases in November's personal consumption expenditures report, the Federal Reserve may decide to pause rate cuts at its upcoming meeting. On top of that, the aerospace industry is catching the attention of investors, thanks to SpaceX Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk's rising influence in government and significant advancements in launch technology which have lowered the costs of space travel. Nonetheless, analysts argue that AST Spacemobile's technical capabilities position it as a strong competitor in what they describe as a David versus Goliath rivalry with SpaceX. Over the past 12 months, AST Spacemobile's stock has gained 610%, underscoring its growth potential in the satellite sector. You should also know that Rocket Lab, which provides comprehensive space equipment and launch services, recently exceeded Wall Street expectations with its third quarter earnings pushing pushing its stock to a 12-month high on Wednesday. Rocket Lab's revenue surged by 55% in the third quarter, reaching $105 million, thanks to a combination of record rocket launches and higher pricing for clients seeking space launch services. In response to these results, analysts from several firms, including Bank of America and Cantor Fitzgerald, raised their price targets for Rocket Lab. The company's stock has jumped 30% over the past week and 301% over the last year, reflecting strong investor interest in the expanding space economy. Earlier this year, Intuitive Machines made headlines when its Odysseus lander became the first of its kind to touch down on the moon. Despite an impressive 236% increase in its stock price over the past year, analysts remain bullish on Intuitive Machines' future, with all six analysts who cover the stock recommending a buy rating. This wave of space industry growth indicates a broader trend, as developments in aerospace technology and potential increases in defense spending under the Trump administration make commercial space travel more accessible. As we approach the weekend, the economic calendar is expected to quiet down, with United States retail sales being the last major data release to monitor. This monthly report from the Commerce Department examines a wide range of consumer sales from office supplies to automobiles. Last month's report surprised economists with stronger than expected results, and many are hoping to see continued strength as we near the holiday season, which is traditionally a crucial period for retail. Finally, turning our attention to Alibaba Group Holdings, the e-commerce giant is closely tied to the Chinese economy, which has faced recent challenges. While government stimulus measures helped boost Alibaba's stock in early October, investors remain wary of relying solely on such interventions. Many shareholders are eager to see Alibaba's strategy for expanding its international presence and diversifying beyond retail, particularly as it seeks new growth avenues. Analysts project earnings per share of $2.10 and revenue of $33,950,000,000, setting high expectations for the company's performance. In summary, today's market displayed a range of reactions to diverse economic, corporate, and geopolitical factors, from Disney's impressive quarterly results and long-term projections to the emerging momentum in the aerospace sector, each development adds nuance to the current investment landscape. Challenges persist, particularly for companies like Trump Media and Hims and Hers Health, facing increased competition and market pressures. As we look forward to the Federal Reserve's next moves and key economic reports, these insights will continue to shape market sentiment. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.